What's going on, guys? It is Ryan, and it is ranting time. This is a topic that has been all over news for gamers. I wanted to give my piece on it, so I'm going to keep it kind of to a minimum because you guys already know what this is about if you can read the title of this. Smash Brothers. Its final DLC has been announced. It's not all out yet, but it's been announced. And there's a lot of good shit coming to Smash Bros. I personally don't own the game yet, but I will. I will find a way to get it. I'm very stingy. I'm very cheap. So I actually do not own it yet. But maybe I'll get enough money, Christmas money or something, and I might go out and buy it because it is it is a great party game. I have friends all the time who want to play Smash Brothers, and I would love to play the latest edition. Now, with that said... There's been a lot of amazing characters announced, some that I just never would have seen coming. The fact that we had Ryu announced way back when for Smash Brothers was astonishing for a few reasons, and the biggest one I'm going to give is Ryu's from a fighting game. I never thought I would see a fighting game port over to another. It's just, it, it's something that boggles my mind. Like, it's one thing when they do like your Street Fighter versus Tekken, or I don't know, they did like a J-Stars where they had all of your anime, favorite anime characters together in the one Battle Royal Rumble there. Battle Royal Rumble. Sure, we'll use that. It's, I don't know, it's, 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 a, strange con it's a strange concept to see a fighting game like Smash Brothers take one specific character from another fighting franchise and bring them right in. Now to get to what this is actually about, now that I'm done ranting about that, we're talking about all the all the people that have been announced in the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Now, they added a new Fire Emblem character. In all honesty, I forgot the name. There's so many of them. You have your Marth, you have Roy, you have, Roy, you have Ike, you have all these people. And then you're also getting people like from Xenoblade, you get Shulk in there. I'm mixing them all up, I can't get it straight. It is still really cool though. The person looks beautiful. Apparently you could switch the, um, the uh, gender, swap out the gender so you can play them as a male or you can play her as a female, which is pretty cool. It, it kind of, you know, makes everybody happy in a way. So we have that. Mainly the main ones I wanna talk about are the main, the main three. This one wasn't in the direct. This was just before, but this one blew everybody out of the water seeing Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Now, I didn't grow up with Final Fantasy VII. In all honesty, I have not even touched the game. And it's that's astonishing for most people. But when I got into Final Fantasy, it was just after seven. I actually, the first Final Fantasy game I played was eight. And I didn't really like it when I was a kid. I owned it too. I own, I bought it, I was playing it, I got stuck somewhere, and then it sat on a shelf. And before you knew it, I found somebody who wanted the game more than I did, and I passed it on to them for like 10 bucks. They took it off my hands for 10 bucks. And that's fine, and I mean, even right now, it's only going for 20 to 25. It's, I was, I was selling it to a friend, it didn't really matter to me. Anyway. It wasn't until Final Fantasy IX that I started to really, really, really like the Final Fantasy series. I really did enjoy IX. I played it over and beaten it numerous times, and I've used different characters and different uh, strengths that they have. Um, I stacked them in different ways. I just, I, I did love IX. I don't know why, I just, I loved it. And the turn-based system has always been something that I was a fan of anyway. And then I moved on to 10. I love 10 too. Not 10 2. I love 10 T W T O O. Not 10 T W O. Final Fantasy 7 though. Cloud Strife in Smash Brothers. I think that's really fucking cool and a huge, huge milestone. Did there is there is no such thing as anything about Final Fantasy 7 being correlated with Nintendo. Now Square Enix actually loaned out Cloud so that they could have him in Final Fantasy VII. That sets up a lot of stuff. You, 
that bridge that we've all wanted to gap over ever since Super Mario RPG, that we wanted to gap over, we wanted to smooth out all the edges between Square Enix and Square Enix with Nintendo, that, that bridge has officially been finished and people are using it. We have Final Fantasy VII character in Smash Brothers. That is super fucking cool. He looks great too. He uses limit breaks. He has his own stage in which summons come in and they can even separate the stage into two pieces. It looks super fucking cool. And he has some really nice looking combos. I can't wait to use them. When I get Smash Brothers, I will be buying Cloud at some point. I usually like to wait for the bundle deals so I can wait to play them. I'll play all the other 50 something characters that are in it. But moving on now, we also had, I'm actually going to save a certain one for last, but I'm going to talk about Bayonetta. There's been mixed feelings about Bayonetta. I don't know why. Bayonetta is a great third party character to add into Super Smash Brothers. I think she looks beautiful. She, her combo attacks are very descriptive, very detailed, and just, they look phenomenal. So, I personally don't know what people, like, I, I didn't see it at first until someone mentioned it on a video. But there are people who are bitching about Bayonetta being in Smash Brothers. Why? Why, why are you bitching at all? You're getting something that most everybody wanted. We're getting a third, we're getting more third party support. Bayonetta 2 is only on the Wii U. That is probably the highest selling third party game for Nintendo right now for the Wii U console. Why the fuck are you complaining about this? There's no reason to. She looks good. She looks like she plays really good. And just, there's, there's, there's nothing to complain about here. You guys are complaining. And you know what? I know what you're complaining about. You're complaining about the people that didn't get put in before her. And the fact that they mentioned that he, she was the number one pick for to be put in Smash Brothers next and that's why they put her in there. There's no real details about whether that's true or not, but you gotta look at it from this perspective. You're not gonna have fucking these outrageous characters. I mean, Th think about it this way. You're not going to have, like, a Skyrim character as a Smash Brothers character. You're, you're not going to have fucking Master Chief from Halo. You Like, shit like that, people are like, Oh, let's just throw this person in Smash. That'd be awesome. We could bridge that gap. You're not going to have that. You're not going to see, like, Xbox hand over a major property like that. And now, yeah, you could argue that, well, PlayStation did it with Final... or Square Enix did it with Final Fantasy. You're not going to see Master Chief. You're not going to see anything like that. Get over it. Just, you need to look at what's fucking possible. They probably had a list of all these people that were, act like, the actual number one was probably completely impossible. They wouldn't have been able to accommodate the money, and the person or the company would never have allowed that. Period. It's just not going to happen. But she may have been like number four or five or even like six or so. That's possible. You, you got to look through the list. And to give another example, I'm going to go into the last character here, the one that I actually jaw dropped. Unfortunately, it's not a full character. It's actually a me costume. But the fact that there is a representation of this, my jaw dropped to the floor. Because again, this is the whole situation with Cloud. This opens up so many possibilities. There is all the costumes for me characters. They actually put in a costume for Gino from Super Smash Brothers. That is... That is one of those top three, we fucking want this character in Super Smash Brothers picks. And where, yeah, they could, they didn't put the whole character in, but they put in a costume. For me, I'm still speechless about it. Because one thing that means to me is, is it possible that they want, they'll ever do like a sequel of Super Smash or Super Mario RPG? And then we have a Super Mario RPG 2? Like... My mind is just blown from that thought. 
It just sounds amazing. It would be awesome. I would love it to death. I would buy the game seven times over. I would want to make sure that I had a copy that I could play for the rest of my life. That would be fucking amazing. And yeah, it's just a me character. But I guarantee you, I'm going to master fucking using the Geno me character for Super Smash Brothers. That's going to be one of my new favorite people to play in Smash Brothers. And I can't wait. And I'm going to end it right here. I could have gone into more detail, but I'm trying to make this short. And this is probably coming out to be 10 minutes long. But what are your thoughts? Comments? Leave them down below. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to me if you're not subscribed. Whatever you feel like doing. You guys enjoy your day, all right?